Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel, and for those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, so today I just wanted to try something new. This is going to be a pilot to what I hope to be a long-term series on the channel, and this is strictly for Boundless, but there may be other things that I want to add, maybe other lore stories from other games that I play. So right now this is called Bedtime and Boundless, but maybe it'll be called something else in the near future. But right now my main focus is going to be all things Boundless on this particular series. What I wanted to do is feature some lore, lore stories made up by the players of Boundless because the game of Boundless does not have any specific lore set for um, the world. And that matters for a lot of us. Some people really don't care about that for any game they play. But for those of us who enjoy RPGs or enjoy a good story or are creative, we do like to have some type of background um, because I feel like it establishes why you care about a world. Um, Boundless is a open world um, sandbox Minecraft like voxel game and so you can do what you want in the game. You can establish your own stories or you can just get in and build and go about your merry way. But for some of us, uh, we like to create stories as we build or the build um, has is focused around a story. So um, I decided that I wanted to feature those stories if written by any players or maybe something of my own. I don't know. I haven't decided yet on this channel. I know that my guild mates wanted to establish something for our settlement. So it stemmed from that. Um, Uncle Jay, who wants to work on his own lore story for his build, as well as a a friendly neighborhood Veruca cat who for some reason thought that I should do a series like this so thank you all for you know giving me that thunk anyways I won't tarry too much longer I just wanted to give you guys an idea of why I'm doing this and it's the ball rolling so the first um, story is going to be written by Pfeiffer I believe that's his name, Pfeiffer13 on the Boundless Forum. Um, I don't know his name in the actual game. It may be the same. I don't know. You guys can let me know or Pfeiffer can let me know. But I wanted to share this first, I guess, of one or, or several stories. I saw two. It might be just the two. But the first of multiple stories that he created um, for Boundless as a whole. Uh, so I do hope you enjoy. Also, I will preface the video by saying that there were some mistakes in the reading. So if you decide to follow along from the story posted on the forum, don't come at me with a red pen. Just don't do it. <laughs> Anyways, on with the show. Ortlis's First Journey Back when the Ort was but a tribe, there were four friends, Ortimus the warrior, Ortno the greeter, Ortilus the builder, and Ortlus the explorer. Now the land in which they lived was wild and the tribe lived in a small village. The four friends decided that life in the village was not enough for them, so they set out into unknown regions. They were in search of something new to inspire them for they were the most creative of their people. As they traveled, the terrain difficult to traverse, so Ortlis fashioned a grappling hook from some stone, twigs, and some tech pieces Ortlis had invented. This made scaling heights from trees to mountains far easier. They made camp on a plateau overlooking an expansive ocean bay. They decided that this was a good place to build an encampment. As they talked design and building plans, Ortlis grew restless. He wished to continue the journey across the world, so Ortlis left the others. He made his way across the bay through green fields, dense forests, rugged mountains, and deep swamps. He even swam across seas and oceans. All over the planet he roamed before finding his friends constructing the base on the beach by the bay. When he returned, it was difficult to explain all the unique places he had found. 
So he fashioned a ball of metal and tech to project what he had discovered. And thus, the first atlas was made, named after Ortlas in honor of being both its creator and the first to explore all the land. Ortlas and the Mysterious Stone One day, Ortlas and Ortimus were exploring a nearby planet. They had arrived through Warp Conduit, an invention of Ortlas's own making. As they wandered the foreign terrain, a star fell from the sky. The fiery rock landed in a dense forest nearby. The pair of them approached the object, only to be ambushed by a party of spitters. Ortimus made short work of each wave of aggressive creatures the fiery rock seemed to attract. The meteor turned cold upon the final cold trunk's death. Ortlis mined up part of the rock and found it was suitable for creating warp portals. So the pair of them mined up more of the rock to make future visits to other worlds easier. Once they reached the center, they found precious ore, gems, and a strange deep purple stone. They returned to their home planet, Bounty in tow. With Ortlis's help, they managed to refine the violet stone into crystals which they found were able to stabilize portals between worlds. In time, they perfected the art, making interplanetary travel easy and accessible. The four of them decided to name this new stone Ortstone, for it was their legacy to the stars. Ortless and the Other Tribe It wasn't long before new tribes of Ortians were discovered. Other planets became home to species and civilization began to take shape. Ortlis was never satisfied with what he had seen across the numerous planets he discovered. He continued to search far and wide for new worlds to explore. Eventually, towards the end of his life, he discovered another species altogether. Not too unlike the Ort, this new species was also intelligent. In time, he taught them his language, showed them some of his creations such as the grapple and the atlas, and before long, Ortlis fell in love with one of the new people. Her name was Boundless, and he loved her dearly. Together they had many adventures, and eventually children. The tribal people were not ready to join the Ort among the stars, but he left the knowledge of the warp technology with his eldest child, with instructions to continue to pass the knowledge from eldest child to eldest child until they were ready to venture into the stars beyond. It is said, this was the beginning of our people, that we are the descendants of Ortlis the Explorer, and that line of the Elders was never broken. Welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, the story as much as I enjoyed reading it. Um, I hope this is one of many lore stories that I get to share with you all here on my channel. Uh, once again, this is going to be called Bedtime and Boundless. Um, let me know what you think about the title. It could be, we could do something different, but my thought is to release these um, more towards the evening time. And, you know, I don't know, maybe it'll help you go to sleep. I have no idea. Things, I turn my phone on and listen to whatever just to go to sleep. So if you're like me, um, you need a little bit of sleep aid. Anyways, so, um, again, I want to say thank you to Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer 13, Pfeiffer 13, for allowing me to read some of your lore. Um, I do want to continue to read everything that you have available on the Boundless Forum. Um, let me know if you have anything else that you want to share with us. Uh, I'll be glad to read it, um, as long as it's boundless, obviously, because this is what, it's bedtime and boundless, so. Anyways, guys, until next time, I have been Pixelated Twix, and I will see you again for the next bedtime story. Ciao.